two, one. <laughs> so did it work? Yeah. Okay, so. right. Now, was that a normal everyday anniversary party going? No. Let's hope not. Can you imagine 12 balloons like that next to your candles and your cake? Your party will be a blast, right? So <laughs> that balloon was not full of helium. What was in it? Hydrogen, right? Hydrogen is really flammable, obviously. Most stars of the universe are made of hydrogen. When I put a flame to that balloon, did you guys happen to see a fireball or something like that? <laughs> maybe if you didn't see the fireball, maybe you felt the heat from it? Did anyone feel any heat? I did. Okay, over here, yes. Maybe if you didn't feel the heat, you heard some kind of noise. Did anyone hear something? Okay, you did, you did, all right. Did anyone feel any vibrations go through the room? Or any forces pushing you? All right. Now this is the science behind what happened. We basically created thunder. I put a flame to the balloon, the hydrogen enveloped it, we saw the fireball. What you didn't see is what actually counts. The air around the fireball became very hot all of a sudden. Now remember the nitrogen when I took the balloons out? When they began to warm up, they began to do what? Expand, right? There's one difference. The air warmed up quickly, so the air expanded whoosh, very, very fast. So now when the fireball disappeared, the air chilled out. When the air cooled out, did it stay stuck and frozen in space like this? No. Did it mosey back together slowly and lethargically and gently contract? Whoosh, like that? No. If you want to hit someone with a rubber band, you pull that rubber band as far as you can, right? When you release it, does it come back together in slow motion and then mosey to the target? Yeah. Or does it snap? Yeah. Snaps, right? And that's what the air did. The air went, I'm hot! I'm cold! And that's what you heard. Well, you didn't hear the voices. 